Hello, everyone. Happy Thursday or Friday, whatever day it is. Um, I think it's a good idea to just go over the rules really quickly since we already know them. The rules stay the same as they were on Wednesday. Um, we'll be stamping your worksheets, and that'll mean Falcon Claws for your great behavior. The passes are still the same. Just make sure that you use this quiet signal, okay? And it is one person at a time. Um, the red chair is in the lounge. You can use that. Just make sure that you use the five finger signal. Okay, it's a quiet signal and we'll put you on the list. Three warnings for today. Um, as always, and it'll be detention with those adults on that list. And then finally, uh, the warnings are still the same. All right. Today's lesson is expressions again, but we are going to learn how to use algebra tiles. Okay, so that might be new for some of you or most of you. Um, we are going to use algebra tiles for algebraic expressions. We'll be writing algebraic expressions and we'll be looking at the perimeter and area to write those expressions. We'll also know that each algebra tile that we use today is named by its area. You'll see what I mean. And then we have a full schedule here for today. Okay. Um, you probably learned about area and perimeter in elementary, but the two ideas sometimes gets confused by people. So I think it's a good idea that we go over it fairly quickly again. Okay. So how do we remember the difference between area and perimeter? Um, I found this image online. I think it's a really good image that tells you that area is talking about the inside but the perimeter is talking about this line right here for this rectangle. This is what perimeter is, and it's talking about the outside of the rectangle, okay? Um, area measures the inside because you see the word area in here, but perimeter measures the distance outside, okay? Perimeter measures the distance outside. So that's why you see the word perimeter on the side, okay? Now we have that down. Um, another way to remember perimeter is to think of the word rim in the word perimeter. Okay, Think of a basketball rim. Every time we talk about the basketball rim, we're talking about this outside. Okay, This outside circle right here. So perimeter measures the distance outside. Okay, So again, when you think of the word perimeter, think of the word rim. Um, and again, area measures the inside space, okay? And there's a little picture right here that tells you how to find the area of a rectangle. And the area of a rectangle is something we're actually going to practice next. Okay, um, so to find the area of a rectangle, uh, you learned in elementary school that it is length times width or some people say base times height, okay? So in this example, um, seven, seven centimeters is our length, okay? Or this is also the length right here, times the width or the height, okay? Length times width or base times height. In this example, the width is three centimeters. So seven times three is 21 square centimeters or 21 centimeters to the second power, okay? We're going to leave this picture up here, but we're going to ask you to quietly work on the do now for four minutes um, with zero silent voices or three inch whispering voices. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause this video and then after four minutes, we will play this video again. Okay, now let's go over the answers to the do now. So your first answers here, length times width or base times height, 15 times 25 is 375 square centimeters. Okay, this two is centimeters to the second power or we sometimes say square centimeters. Okay. B is 9 times 6, 54 square units, or 54 units to the second power. 
Letter C, 1.8 meters times 0 0.75 meters equals 1.35 square meters or meters to the second power. Feel free to pause this video if people need time to copy this down. And then we'll continue in five seconds. Actually, we're going to go on to the next video. All right.